All right, it is the new edition. It's the day six edition. Now this is gonna be a series of leg exercises. And for some people, um, it's kind of hard having uh, all the uh, pressure on the hip. So if you're finding that it is, it's uncomfortable doing these, uh, you can double up your mat, right? You could even bring in a pillow, okay? A pillow to put under you, a blanket, but whatever you're doing, make sure it's flat, right? So there's no bumps in it. You wanna be on the back long edge of your mat. We're gonna make a shallow V with the body. So your feet are gonna to come towards uh, the front long edge and your forearm is gonna go right underneath your shoulder line, right? So the elbow's underneath your shoulder, your forearm's out, and you wanna press, you wanna lift. Physically, everybody put your hand on these ribs and feel yourself lift. Feel this ignited right here. Don't let this go here, right? It loves to just kind of lift, but you wanna feel energetic length through all the work, all right? So maybe uh, out a little bit more, yes, you need to be out. Okay, good. Now, the other thing that's going on here is you want a barber pole feeling, so you don't want to be forward, you don't want to be back, you want to be right in the center, lifting underneath here, and we're going to lift the leg about, um, I don't know, what is that, like four inches, so slightly up. You want to keep the hips in line, right, you don't want to go above the hip line. Lift underneath, long through your beautiful neck, and we're going to pulse forward, one, two, and back, one, two, and one, two. Try not to move it with momentum. Try to move it with your core and the glute. All right, we have seven more. Front and back. By working length through your toning uh, focus, this is six, right? Six, you're working long muscle instead of short muscle fiber. So here we go, I think we have five more. Try not to move too much. There's no Zumba in the Pilates work, right? It is all very contained. There's no, uh, shimmy or hip wiggle, <laughs> right? I think we have three more. If we did more, that's okay. Back, hold and contain, two. And back, pretend that leg is light as a feather, one. And back, and here. All right, so we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, but each um, of the rest of the days, we're gonna add on to uh, each side before we switch. So your hips are on the back, the legs are in the front edge, a forearm is long underneath you, but right under that shoulder. And I remember that lift through here, length through your neck. We're going to lift that leg up. Remember, you don't want to rock forward or back, but keep a barber pole lying there. Press one, two, and back. This is going to work really nice sculpting through the legs and, of course, always working our length. So here we go. Seven. Lift underneath. Don't let this droop. And six. And press. You can even lift the sides of the mouth for a little smile, maybe. Here we go. And four. And I think that was five, actually. Here we go. Four. And pulse. And three. And pulse. And two. And pulse. Don't let it move, but control it. All right. So that's the beginning of that leg sequence. We're going to keep adding on to it each day, but that's the beginning. Um, so day six through day ten, we're going to add on and really focus on leg sculpt. All right, which of course continues to work core and abdominals and uh, celery. All right, <laughs> have your nutritious snacks. Become aware of your potential and go have a lovely day. Thanks for joining me, everybody.